the back and uh, get stuff exposed. Hang on. Ah, stop it. I don't want to talk to you, bitch. Okay, what was that? Pause. Thank you. Oh, I'm recording. Here's the hood after a day. We took a day off because we had, ooh, that's nice and smooth too. That doesn't have any dirts in it really, brother. Yeah, it's, it's for laying as flat as it did. Be fine, just fine. And this turned out really nice. Yeah. Sweet. We wiped it down 927 times, so. That's cool. Today we're gonna do some seam sealing in the back and some pour 15 on some rust spots that we're not gonna repair just yet. And then uh, he's prepping the dash so that we can match that because the dash is actually a different color from this somewhere in here where the windshield sets back. And so once you paint this, you gotta paint all that to match. And these A-pillar things that are pieces over here. gonna look like that flat those are scuffed but it's gonna look similar to that it's gonna be eggshell super secret recipe I'll share with you later all right so <clears throat> we're just making these panels last a little bit longer until we can find proper patch panels they're hard to find on this car 1970 Chevelle wagon so if somebody has an idea let me know Impala. But, Impala is it a Chevy Impala wagon yes okay so this is the spare tire thing. It's just got rust on the bottom. That one we could probably make if we spent time. This one, though, looks like a bottom of a gas tank, but it's actually the floor pan on the inside. And it's just had water sitting on it and it had been patched once before. And we couldn't find one in time for this project. So this is what we're doing. We taped up the rust holes after we treated them with rust stop stuff. Uh, mort, rust mort. Rust mort. And then we're seam sealing over the top to make it you know closed up that'll dry and then we'll hit it with pour 15 over the top of that after that seam sealer has a hint has a chance to dry so it'll last a little longer give us a couple years to find a solution or for joe to find a solution then this is the dash color uh i mentioned earlier so what we're going to do is we've scuffed it now so that the new proper color will paint we'll clean this up and we just scuffed it with 320 with a pad in between, like super light, so you didn't get any finger marks in it or anything. I'll show you. Super light, just break the surface off so it'll get the little gookies out. 320, 320, pad. Just lightly hit it as lightly as you can. And then you take the an older 3M pad to get the little edges that you couldn't get with the sandpaper. So everything will stick. You can see even that way we busted through it a couple little spots, but that'll be okay. I hit the serial number a little harder than usual so that we'll retain the numbers after you put 1,700 coats of paint on it. And this is what happens when you don't do a good job. People come behind you and do a better job. You're just, you're just ignorant. You don't know any better. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Sometimes when you're painting inside little pieces, you got to get all these lips. And to get those lips, I don't know if I have light up there, but to get all those lips, you gotta suspend stuff or hang it. This one, we gotta paint both sides. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got all kinds of little screws in my ceilings from past painting projects. So just pick one that's appropriate and hang it. I liked them the other way. You turn these around. Yeah. Well, this is the side that you see from the car, inside the car. This is the outside of the car. Oh. Are you fucking chastising me on camera? Great. Well, I just was letting you know why I did that. <laughs> um, this is like a extension with a socket. You use the, the aluminum foil to keep my tools relatively clean. And then, you know, sometimes you just gotta get creative. So, it's just about getting it up so you can get all the edges and stuff and he's doing his final look looking at stuff and you know it's 
fixing to be collar time. Bit of uh... okay. So this is two. This is base coat, so it's two step, and it's in there. This is how to make it <coughs> dull or uh, eggshell for your dash, because <coughs> you don't want a shiny dash. So your base coat goes in. Yeah. yeah. And this is a little bit of hardener. Yeah, a little bit of hardener. And then you're gonna throw some reducer in. Yep. <coughs> and it's just base coat, a little bit of hardener in it, over reduced, makes for really nice interior paint. I look like a one to one on the reducer. Yeah, it's about a one to one. <laughs> and two tablespoons of hardener. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, that'll go on, and it'll just be a flatty kind of thing. Kind of like these were before. I didn't take pictures of before, but just a little bit. I don't know, it's going to be about the same as that, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. a little dusty, but... And that's what they did from the factory. Maybe not that, that particular method, but that's the finish they put on from the factory. I think that's a good blend. It's super light, isn't it? Let me see, that's too boring. I'm mean, still got some spots in it, so this is going to be rough. Oh, watch that boom. All right, this is about 30 minutes later. You can see he's got a little bit of gloss to it, but not enough to worry about anything. Get this, kind of hard to see because it's got the lights off, but. The dash just blended in. Looks like he's getting excited to do something back here. We'll see. Yeah, well, black is hard to show on camera, but. It's everywhere, undercoated. This is just easier to show you in there, but, and then the firewall. We untaped everything so you see the colors together. They're not really nice. And then the firewall. Nice line for the undercoating. And we had previously, like years ago, scraped this so all the underside was just scraped and stuff. I don't know if I can picture of that. But one little spot right there. It didn't seal up with a seam sealer, so we're going to try and patch that. The paper is because there's some uh, body drain holes similar to those things right there. Right there. But they, we didn't have them, so we didn't want the undercoat to spray up over it. You know, into the interior, but our first order of business is trying to fix that little spot right there. And then... The master is going to start playing with some patch here, and I think some patch here. Yep. And we're going to clean these channels out. So we can spray collar, very similar to what we did here. 
And then we're also going to clean these channels out here so that he can put windows in even though we don't have the outside painted. That's the goal for today. We'll see what happens. All taped up and prepped up, seam sealed, cleaned up. All nice and pretty. A little seam sealer up in there. A couple of these little studs came out. One there, a couple up in here. But I don't know if those can get replacement screw in ones or the press fit or weld on or whatever. It is what it is though. And this side too. All beautiful and down there so we did that yeah we get sealed we didn't get the body work done on this thing over here but it's got more dents and dings in it than it looked it's sandblasted so we're just going to seal this and save it for another day it doesn't look bad after it's sanded but there's quite a few little bumps in there. like there and there there's a dent in it over here can't can't really see till you feel it but as soon as you put some shiny on it, it'll stand out. We chose not to do the fenders because Mr. Joe wants to get them dipped. We were worried that if we welded to any of this stuff, it would be too thin when it came back and we'd have to repatch. Because that fender over there looked about the same as this fender, maybe a little bit bigger. And that's how big the patch was. So after you dip them, it takes a whole bunch more of that metal all the way front and back. So. We'll see what they look like when they come back from the dipsters. Anyway, that's he'll that. Look for fenders after he brings back from dip. <laughs> the prediction is he'll look for fenders, in case you didn't hear that. Sealer. the idea. A little light here. Sometimes the sealers are super hot. It'll make the paint lift underneath. And so puts it on a light coat so it doesn't do that. And hopes that it doesn't do that. It's the hope anyway. Well, this is going to be the end of this week's work. Probably the end. Of, I don't know how this video is going to come together. If it's going to be one or two or whatever, but we'll see. We got some sealer on this. No body work, but it got sandblasted, so we uh, had to seal it so it wouldn't rust. <clears throat> we got the windows ready to window channels ready to have a window put in them. So they're painted and I guess you can call it cut in. So once the window's in, these can be treated. Excuse me. You know, these can be worked from beyond that, which is what you're hoping for. And a little back taking action going on there. So hopefully it's got covered. Yeah. Anyway, that's the that's the status, the current status of the of the deal. A little bit of bare metal there. We went a little bit far on this side. We'll have to treat that with something. But 
anyway, um, we got the undercoating done. <clears throat> I don't know if that's very visible or not. You can kind of see. Terrible video, but yeah, need a light underneath there. But I think I've shown you that before. Got this uh Ow, fudge. Oh the dash is dash is all double taped up, so this is all double taped up. Something satisfying about that, but With the dash patched and taped, firewall painted all the way down. So, so there's quite a bit of. Doesn't seem like a. You know, just, like, oh yeah, it's, it's other people that do stuff super fast. You know, they're out here just killing themselves whole days. But that's about as good as we could get for the amount of work we put in for a week. So anyway, that about tidies it up. Uh, the fenders were not not in good enough shape to work on. We just uh, Joe decided to. Uh, have them acid dipped to make sure all that rust on the back sides inside the double walls got taken care of and then there's a neutralizer that they put in there too that seals it and keeps the acid from continuing going and all that so anyway that is weeks worth of work kind of on and off and we're there it's ready to be put on the frame I think we're going to bring the frame over soon set it on there and then we'll see where we're at there you go.